hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be talk about my baby closet organization this is my baby's closet i've tried to organize it um as much as i can like i've put all my effort all my knowledge in it to be organized and that what's important is keeping it clear all the time and not to mess it not to not to make it messed so i hope you all enjoy this video if you do please give, please give this video a thumbs up and if you are new i'd like to have you as a subscriber so please stick around i post weekly so it's baby related like motherhood organization and lifestyle so so you can subscribe it's totally free and you won't be charged when I say it's totally free so just click the notification bell the notification is notification bell is the tiny bell right beside the subscribe button so that you won't miss any of my future updates so with that all said let's jump into it so guys uh, this is the usual cupboard I have in my home uh, it's a three section cupboard so I'll give you a quick review of what's inside this side and this is the other side there are hanging space as well so in this side I've hung all of his uh, shirts and t-shirts and some bodysuits as well so I didn't I didn't try to color coordinate or do something fancy because it wasn't easy because I kind of keep on getting things out of the cupboard and putting them back inside on and off so it wasn't really easy to color coordinate it. These are all his long pants and these are all his sh shorts. I've kind of tried to color coordinate the, only the pants because uh, color coordinating the shirts wasn't easy. So. In here I have uh, his denim pants as well and I really I am really not a fan of denims because I kind of feel like uh, we, are, we live in Sri Lanka so it's always really hot so I really didn't uh, comfortable with it even I myself I don't feel comfortable with the denim because it's too hot in Sri Lanka but this pant I'm really in love with this I got this from mother care its waist is stretchy so it's kind of ideal for babies because uh, when they get a juice their tummy fills up and sometimes if it if it's not stretchy so it might the baby might feel a little bit uncomfortable so but with this one he'll be comfortable i also um, really don't support the uh, non-stretchable pants because i'm kind of a fan of stretching pants these are all stretching like i usually make my baby wear stretching pants when it comes to pants and both even the shirts i i'm not a fan of shirts i have a couple of like only two or three shirts i usually make him wear shirts so in here i have in here i have his uh, socks these are all of his socks and in here I have his swimwear. I only have like two or three swim swimwear sets. So I got this uh, small bin from IKEA, IKEA Sri Lanka. Their page is Aura. So I bought this from them. So it really came in handy for me. So these are his shoes. Uh, he has like, I only buy two sets of um, shoes for him. I usually buy shoes from mother care so the shoes are really expensive so i make sure to buy only two because uh, that's the average amount that's comfortable for me because each night when i go out and come back i make sure to uh, wash his shoes and so the next day i can make him wear the other shoes so by the time i come home the first set of shoes are ready to be worn the next day 
so that's how things work for me so these are his all his bows and bows and ties and in here i have his hats and caps there are his fancy hats and caps which i really in love with these are his bibs which he really doesn't use much right now and in here i have his little rattle uh, hanging there because it gives me a lot of memories of his childhood like he doesn't use it anymore so it was the rattle he was using when he was a wee newborn so typical me i bought everything in white so he wasn't he was playing with it so he was like holding into it so it gives me so much good at bad, bad memories as well because i had a really hard time when he was born so moving on to the next shelf we have his um blankets in there i have a bit more blankets which i should be ironing so it's in the laundry basket right now so i, sh I sh definitely should be ironing them and keeping them there so i didn't try to get a fancy organizer in here because uh it's all about the blankets so i tried to separate them with the sizes i have three size sizes of them so in the low cupboard i have uh, his um suits to keep suits for charity shoes smaller so whenever one uh, the items are like like when I just feel like that I that he's grown out of it I just take it and if I am gonna uh, save that for my baby number two I'm gonna keep him keep it in this basket and if not it goes here in for charity so I definitely should be donating this pile uh, next time so these are the shoes that are smaller for you but those shoes uh, I might keep because it was a gift so moving on to the next side i have my pillowcases in here for that also i have used these ikea beans which i am obsessed with i have i don't have much um uh, pillowcases for him these are his square pillowcases and these are the uh, roller pillows so that's it nothing fancy and in here i have his feeding what is that feeding pillow i was using when he was a baby so these are the shoes bigger i always make sure to buy shoes in advance because um i only always buy one size bigger shoes as well because i usually i living uh, a little bit far away from Chilau so it's really not possible for me to get to Colombo whenever I want so it's a long way for me so when I go there for doctor's appointment or some other thing so I make sure to buy whatever I need so usually the size he was on right now are UK 5 and these are UK 6 so i think he's growing out of that uk5 right now so i might soon have to get him these and in there i have his um towels with hoods and the usual towels so that's almost everything he has in his cupboard for So let's there's another part so this is the most used parts in these two units but here I have more of his like these were the uh, kind of the blankets and you know the pillows and um, these are the um, the cut bumpers that I was using so I'm just uh, keeping those for baby number two 
there are more these are the bumper covers and I have uh, I have more blankets I've like donated a lot of them so but I've just kept ones I love and ones give me so much memories I really love this blanket it is really good quality I got it from elegant smokers I still love him love this one and he even he feels so comfy and cozy with this blanket and this too as well I got that from mother care and here I have a lot of his um, napkins which I was using for him when he was a newborn my gosh and in there he has his um, um, cot bed sheets cot sheets so he, he, he doesn't really uh, sleep in the cot right now but uh, I'm using his cot as a nappy changing area right now so that's why I have the I have kept all the uh, sheets for now so I'll show you what's inside this drawer it's nothing fancy but it's just uh, in this box I have his nail clippers and hair brushes and everything and in this tiny box I have his pins when I was using for like what I was using for him when he was a newborn oh my gosh it was such a pressure that I keep all that and this is his uh, ear thermometer I'm really in love with this because rather than a normal uh, thermometer this is really helpful it gives the core temperature as well and in here I have his um, it's um, just a shaving kit it's just a shaver a usual Philips shaver but this is uh, what we use to trim his hair uh, until now only once we went to the salon uh, otherwise we used to trim his hair at home and I keep a scissor in here so the baby can grab it he is not uh, hiding out for this so guys that's all I have for the uh, closet tour the baby closet tour I hope you all enjoy this for this is not luxury like this is what I have the cupboard I have and how I try to organize it to make it effective make it efficient like to make save my time to save my money and to be you know to to be organized so I am really in love with this because when things are like when 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 uh, people when like I got some comments as that I'm spending too much on these bins well I must say like you can't really organize without the bins because if there are bins for se bins separately for everything so you need you you don't have to worry about where I should be keeping this or something like as soon as you open everything is labeled so you know where to put everything so I think this works so well because before this even I was kind of um, I, I wasn't using bins so I was just you know going over and keeping things but it really doesn't work this is the best it's my experience and this whole life I didn't uh, use um, these bins for such a long time and I regret not doing it and I regret that I didn't know about it so now I know so that's why I'm telling you guys that this is the perfect solution for a messy bedroom or messy closet if you have a messy closet get some bins okay guys I hope you all enjoyed this video if you do please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video bye guys